In the following video we share part of an interview with the late Archbishop Henrik Hosa with the website Total Croatia. I believe that the message of peace, which is central here in Medjugorje, is intended for the whole world, said Polish Archbishop Henrik Hosa, the recently deceased apostolic visitor to the St. James Parish in Medjugorje, in Bosnia-Herzegovina, run by the Franciscan Friars. The message being delivered in Medjugorje can be put at the same level as that delivered in the French city of Lourdes and the Portuguese city of Fatima. The last two have been recognized by the Vatican as worthy of belief for over a century. With regard to the international phenomenology, they are very similar, Archbishop Hoser has said according to the website Total Croatia. These are certainly the three greatest pilgrimage sites. Here we have two and a half million pilgrims a year. These are the three Marian shrines which call for repentance and conversion and for the prayer of the rosary, he said, noting that Lourdes is a great shrine based on dogmatical truth about the Immaculate Conception, and tells us about the identity of the Mother of God. Fatima, which was visited by the past three popes, gives us a look at the contemporary history of the world as well as the future. Between these three pilgrimage sites there's a kind of spiritual solidarity and bond. As Archbishop Hosa noted, Medjugorje has no imposing shrine. On the contrary, it's a simple parish. The power of grace that is felt here, the power of God's words here proclaimed, make us witness to many radical transformations that are happening here. Medjugorje has become the confessional of the world, he said. There are 35 confessionals in seven different languages in Medjugorje, that draw a constant line of penitence at all hours. Many priests have spoken publicly about the confessions they've heard in Medjugorje making them believe there's a supernatural grace in the place. Apparitions fall under the heading of private revelation, even those addressed to the whole world such as Fatima. According to church law, it's never a requirement of the faith that they be accepted. According to the visionaries, the Gospel, or Virgin Mary, has been appearing in this small town 60 miles from Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia-Herzegovina, since June 24, 1981. Despite his readiness to compare Medjugorje to Fatima and Lourdes, when asked about the apparitions, Archbishop Hoser has said that the church's position continues to be let's wait and see. In general terms, the message of peace that emerges from the Medjugorje phenomenon is always valid. Regarding the attitude of the last three popes to the phenomenon, the Polish Archbishop has said that there's continuity. John Paul II, he argued, monitored the development of the situation. The relatively short pontificate of Benedict XVI was very positive towards Medjugorje. This was also demonstrated by the establishment of the International Commission for Medjugorje. Pope Francis has taken the biggest step by sending his representative here. Pope Francis wants to develop pastoral activities in Medjugorje, and thus confirms the value of this place. Thank you for supporting my channel. Please like and subscribe. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.